Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve sort list. We are given the head of a linked list and we want to just return the linked list after we have sorted it in ascending order. And so basically this is as simple as it sounds. It is just a sorting problem. So if you have done sorting on an array before, right? Like, you know, you've implemented a sort on an array such as merge sort or quick sort. So something like merge sort or quick sort, if you've done that before, you should be able to solve this problem. The only thing that makes this problem difficult is yes, we have a linked list instead of an array, but you can still solve this problem. And I'm gonna do it with merge sort and it's not as bad as you might think. Yes, we will get a solution in n log n time because we know merge sort runs in n log n time, but we're gonna do it recursively because that makes it a lot easier. So the memory complexity is not gonna be O of one, the memory complexity is going to be log n. And I could show you how to do the constant time solution, but it's a lot of code, a lot of unnecessary code, and it's really just testing you on a lot of edge cases. So I think doing the merge sort solution is definitely good enough, and you learn more by doing the merge sort solution. So let's look at the merge sort solution. So if you're not familiar with merge sort, basically what we're doing is we are going to take this entire linked list and cut it in half. So I'm going to cut it over here, right? So I'm going to split it into two linked lists of roughly equal size. So we're going to end up with two linked lists. So you can see now we have two linked lists, right? I split it at this point. And basically what I mean by split is we knew that this pointer initially was set to this node, but what I basically did is took this node, this pointer, and now set it to null. So we do have two separate linked lists. They're just not connected anymore. And so this merge sort is a recursive algorithm typically. So what I'm going to do is for this left uh, linked list, this left sub list and this right sub list, I'm going to repeat what we just did. I'm going to split these lists. And with this list, I did the exact same thing. I split it and now it's set to null. So clearly each of these cases is just one node now, right? Basically, this is the base case, right? Obviously, we can't take this list and split it into two anymore. So now is the part where we're going to do the merge part of merge sort. We're going to take these nodes and merge them, except now we're going to merge them to make sure that they're in order, right? So what are we going to do? Well, look at four and look at two. Obviously, two is smaller, so we're going to merge them, but we're going to merge them with two coming before pointer four. So when you look at four's next pointer, it's still set to null, right? But two's next pointer has been set to four now. And we're going to do the exact same thing with these nodes. You can see that the initial order they were in was already in sorted. So basically when we merge them now, we're going to make them just the exact same as they were. So all we do is set one's next pointer to three now. So now we're going to do the last thing. We're going to take these two lists of size two and then merge them together as well. But this is obviously going to be a little different because each of these has more than one node. So let's look at the first value in each list because we know these two lists are now in sorted order, right? When you take two lists that are in sorted order, we can merge them pretty easily, right? Just look at the first value in each node and get the smaller one. So we look at one and we look at two. One is smaller. So we're going to we're going to start our list at one. So now we're no longer considering one. It's already been merged. Next, we're still going to look at two because we haven't merged it yet. And now we're going to compare it with three. Which one of these is smaller? Well, it's two, right? So now we add two to our merged list and we don't have to consider this two anymore. It's already been merged. Next, we look at four and we look at three. Which of these is smaller? Well, it's three. So let's merge it. Don't need to consider this three anymore. And now we're only left with one node. So obviously we can take this last four and merge it into our resulting list. So now you can see that we took our original list up here and we got the merged linked list. So if you wanted to analyze the time complexity, you could look at this part. So this is the part where we were splitting our list. 
And the number of times we had to split our list was log n because, you know, if you take a number n, how many times do you have to divide it by two in order to get the base case, which is one, right? How many times do you have to divide it by two to get to a point where each node is separated? Well, that's mathematically log n. And so therefore, the number of times you have to merge to take single nodes and continue to merge them in order to get a resulting linked list is also log n. And we also know that taking two lists and merging them together, if they're already sorted, is an O of n operation. So if you multiply the two, you get n times log n, which is the overall time complexity. And one last thing I want to explain before I write the code is how do we get the middle, right? Because that's one of the most important parts, getting the middle so then we can split our linked list into two equal halves. Well, we're going to search for the middle node. In this case, since it's an even list, we're, we are going to choose the left uh, part to be the middle node. And what we're going to do is take for that node, set its right pointer, cross it out, set its next pointer to null, right? And then we'll have two separate linked lists. If we happen to have a node or happen to have a list of three nodes, then we would take this node to be the middle. And what we would do is the same thing. We'd cross out its next pointer and set it to null. And then you can see we have two linked lists. In this case, they're not equal size because we had an odd number of elements. This one is two elements. This one is one element, but the algorithm will still work out and I'll show you how. So we have our uh, function header. All we're given is a head node and we just want to return the merged linked list. So I'm going to make this a recursive function. So I'm going to first write the base case. So what if we didn't get a head node? What if the head node was null? In that case, we're going to return null. But the other case is that or, right, if head is null or head.next is null, right? So if head.next is null, that means we also have a base case because we were given a single node. So therefore the node itself is sorted. So instead of returning null, I'm gonna return head, which is, go is going to work out for either of these cases. So this is recursive. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is split the, two, the list into two halves. So we're given more than one node. So now we have to split the nodes. So I'm gonna set my left list equal to the head. I'm gonna initially set my right list equal to the middle node. So I'm gonna use a helper function, get mid to get me the middle node. And that's gonna be my right pointer. But you saw in the explanation that I showed that we actually want the right dot next to be the right list. We also need to set a node's next pointer to null. So what I'm gonna do is save right.next in a temporary variable. I'm gonna set right.next equal to null, and then I'm gonna set right equal to temp. I took the middle node and was able to split the list by setting the next pointer equal to null. And obviously I didn't write this helper function yet, get mid, but I'm gonna do that later because it's actually not that hard and it's not even the most important part of this algorithm. So now that we have two, two linked lists split in half, left and right, what we can do is just call our recursive function. So sort list, right? The, rec the function that we're in, this is our recursive call. So what I wanna do is sort the left list, right? And then set it equal to the left. And I also wanna sort the right portion of the list. So, so far, this is pretty straightforward, right? This is just the recursive part. We're sorting the left and right parts of the list. Once they are sorted, just like I showed you, what we're gonna do is merge them. So I'm gonna have another helper function called merge. It's going to take the left and right linked lists and all it's gonna do is merge them. Once they are merged, what do I have to do? I just have to return it, right? That's all we wanted to do, sort them we split the list, we sort the two halves, and then we merge them together and return. That's it. So now the only thing left for us to do is fill in these helper functions, get mid and merge. So first let's start with get mid. So we're given a head node and we just wanna return the middle node. So I'm gonna do this like I've done in some previous linked list problems that I solved. So I'm gonna have a slow and fast pointer. Slow is gonna be set to head, fast is gonna be set to head.next. 
And what I'm going to do is while the fast pointer is in bounds and fast.next is in bounds, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increment the slow pointer by one. So I'm going to shift it by one. And what I'm going to do with the fast pointer is I'm going to shift it by two. So that's why I needed to check to make sure that fast.next is also not null. So I'm shifting slow by one and fast by two. And by the time the fast pointer is out of bounds, we know that the slow pointer will be at the middle node. If you're not familiar with this technique, I would recommend just running this on an algorithm, on like an example linked list of size three or size four. See how it works. You'll basically prove it to yourself that it does work. And so once that is done, we can return the slow node because we know that it will be at the middle value. So that's get mid, easy as that. Last but not least, we need to write our merge function. So merging two linked lists. And you probably already know how to do this part, but I'll write the code just to show you. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a dummy node. It's not actually gonna be a part of our list, but it's basically so we don't have to deal with the edge case of when we merge these two lists, the first node is going to be the head node. And I don't wanna, it's just a little bit easier when we do this. I'm also gonna have a tail variable. It's gonna be the position that we insert a merge node at. So while list one and list two are non-empty, right? What we're gonna do is find the smaller value. So if list.1 has a smaller value than list two, then what we're gonna do is insert list.1 at the next position. So at tail.next, we're gonna insert list one node. And so if we do that, of course, we know we have to shift list one to the next position in list one. Otherwise, we know that list two has a smaller value or that they're equal, in which case we can just add list two's val uh, node anyway. So we're going to do the opposite. So at tail.next, we will put list two's value and then shift list two. In either case, whether we're adding from list one or list two, we know we have to shift the tail pointer so that we can add at the end of the list. So once this loop stops executing, we know at least one of these has become null, but may, it's possible that the other list is not null, meaning there's still elements for us to add. So if list one is not null, what we're gonna do is add the remaining portion of list one to the tail. And similarly, if list two happens to not be null, we're going to take list two and add it add the remaining elements to the tail, which is what we're doing with this statement. And once we have done that, we can return dummy.next. We, if we return dummy, we're including an unnecessary node that we just created. So we return dummy.next so that we don't have to include this unnecessary node. Okay, whoops, I had a unfortunate typo. So I called these list one and list two, but the parameters are left and right. I'm just gonna change the parameter names to list one and list two. Okay, so it works and it's a pretty efficient solution. I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned a little bit about merge sort and a little bit about uh, running some functions on linked lists. And if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. It supports the channel a lot and I'll hopefully see you pretty soon.